Okay, I want you to listen up. Here's the, here's the drill. Uh, President Biden is in trouble politically. Um, he's polling right up there with fungal infections. Part of the reason for that is that he gave in to the loon wing of his party and he dissolved the southern border. Now, five months before an election, he has to appear to be willing to do something about it, hence this executive order. And he expects you to uh, report this epiphany that he has had, take what the White House is, uh, is telling you, balance it on your noses like trained seals and report it uncritically. For five, for, for, for three years, we have watched President Biden push on a door that has clearly marked, has been clearly marked pull. He's mismanaged Congress, COVID, the national debt, the economy, inflation, crime, Afghanistan, Iran, uh, the war in Gaza, the war in Ukraine, and now, of course, the border. And every time, I think the president has hit rock bottom. He has managed to find a shovel and continue to dig. Hence, this executive order. And I think that's what the American people See, the first question I would ask President Biden is this. It's a little late, isn't it, Mr. President? It's a little late. Um, you can't make this cat walk backwards. The president's border policies have allowed 8 million people to come into our country illegally. If you try to come into our country today illegally, you are a sucker. You are a sucker. All you have to do is present yourself at the southern border. Now, for three years, President Biden told us all, there is no crisis at the southern border for reasons clearly stated on the teleprompter. And his plan to deal with the crisis at the border was to pretend that there wasn't a crisis at the border. Some of you reported that. Some of you didn't. Well, when the American people figured it out, because they may be poorer under President Biden, but they're not stupid, the Biden administration shifted its strategy. It then said, well, we know there's a crisis at the border, but we don't have any authority to fix it. That didn't work either, because the American people aren't cell deep stupid. So now he has decided to tell you that he has been born again. He has had an epiphany. He is now a border hawk. And that's what he wants you to report. Look, you can cut the hypocrisy with a knife. You know, I, I have seen the good side of politics, but I've also seen the dark side. I spent 25 years in the major leagues of Louisiana politics before I was sent down to the miners here in Washington. I have seen the good side, but I've seen the dark side. And this is the most, one of the most cynical things that I have ever seen a politician attempt to do five months before an election. It is insulting. It is cheap. It is contemptuous. And the American people see that. And I, I, hope, uh, I hope you do too.